Jennifer McKelvey. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and I just started with UCOR as program manager of mental and behavioral health. Originally I, I was raised in California and then I moved uh, when I was about 19 to New York um, and lived in like the New York metropolitan area for 30 plus years and kind of got tired of it. <laughs> so I had recently moved to Tennessee, so just uh, in June of last year to be closer to my in-laws because um, they're aging and so was looking around for various jobs and hit upon UCOR. Um, just decided to go for it and apply and here I am. Um, it just sounded like a really interesting position and a way to make a difference and help people out in such a challenging industry. So I have been licensed for almost 10 years um, and ironically I had a completely different career before this. So I was a ballet dancer by training and education, went to Juilliard, graduated, danced for a long time and decided at one point that is this really what I want to do <laughs> for the rest of my life? Um, so I at that point decided to go back to school and did a whole nother bachelor's degree and went on for my PhD. So um, here I am. I have seen most of the contiguous 48 um, at one point or another. I've been in Fargo, um, North Dakota. I've been in uh, Montana where it's like 40 below in the winter <laughs> with the wind chill. Um, I've been to Taiwan uh, and performed there and just, yeah, I've gotten to see a, a good portion of the U.S. I think it's fantastic. I really do. Um, I haven't encountered other other businesses like this that have um, sort of the resources available and the willingness to really put things into motion to help the people that, that work for them. Um, usually it's just about, you know, doing the work and not about caring for employees as a whole. And I think it's just great that this company is willing to do that. I think part of it is countering the myths that are sort of propagated in the media um, because news has to focus on things that will grab your attention. And a lot of the pos positive stories don't grab people's attention. It's the, the tragedies and the things that go wrong. And it sort of makes it seem like people with mental illness only do the bad things. That there aren't millions and millions of other people who carry, you know, all of these things with them that don't do bad things, that do good things, that live healthy lives. Um, so I think that's education um, on, and myth busting is part of the way to reduce stigma and then to make the conversation acceptable, you know, and sort of gently leaning in to that kind of thing that it actually represents a form of strength to be able to talk about it, that sort of stoically bullying your way through it isn't always the best solution.